This is Max Williams with United Real Estate, and today I'm in Eastern Henrico. Today we're going to take a look at a three-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath home. This home is located here in a nice, quiet subdivision, a subdivision built in the late 60s. And we have a combination of one- and two-story homes. Uh, most of them have uh, some brick and uh, definitely an established neighborhood. A lot of people here uh, have been here for many years and uh, it is a very walkable location uh, there is a new strip mall that's uh just less than a half a mile away uh, walmart uh, retail shopping pretty much anything you would need is very close so very good location from that standpoint the rehabbers came in and did a total renovation on this home including windows roof heating and air uh, all of the bathrooms, the kitchen, uh, just a, a really good rehab and uh, did some really unique touches. There's something on this house that I have never seen before. I've got over 1,100 videos under my belt. Today, I saw something for the first time and uh, it's gonna be towards the end of the video. So make sure you stay tuned all the way to the end so you can see exactly what it is I'm talking about. We're situated here on about a quarter of an acre. So a good size lot. And this home does have a first floor primary bedroom. So we don't see that very often in older homes. Uh, as I mentioned, they completely renovated this floor plan. This floor plan was very different uh, than it is today. They definitely opened it up and did some really nice upgrades. As we go up the stairs, you can see we've got some beautifully refinished wood. Uh, that's the same wood that's downstairs and upstairs as well. One of the things I love about this floor plan is that all of the bedrooms are huge. They are all the size of a typical primary bedroom. So you can get a king size bed into every single bedroom. That's very unusual. Another unusual feature, here we have our walk-in closet. Once again, this is a secondary bedroom. Another component here of the second floor is going to be our full bath love what they did here in this bath they gave us ceramic tile completely to the ceiling subway tile we also have a decorative tile on the floor uh, which is a nice touch it's a very good looking full bath and then to my left is going to be secondary bedroom number two and this is about the same size as the bedroom that we just saw once again, plenty of space, plenty of light flows in. We have two closets for this bedroom. This is gonna be kind of a semi-finished closet. Um, this is under Eve storage, so you could definitely get boxes, suitcases, uh, those types of things here in this space. And then our finished closet is going to be right here in the middle of the frame. Notice we have wood floors throughout here on the second level as well. And this is a good size closet uh, here in this secondary bedroom. So very impressed. This is a great floor plan if you have adults that are gonna be uh, occupying and need these uh, larger rooms, or if there are children, you could easily get a couple of twin beds in there and complete sets of furniture for uh, multiple children with no problem. So large bedrooms are are definitely a big plus. Okay, I'm gonna take you to our primary bedroom and then we're going to finish up here on the first floor and then I'm gonna take you out back. We've got a coat closet here, this is under stair. To the left is going to be our powder room. This of course is for guests and we do have an ensuite uh, as well here on the first floor. Love the look of these uh, beautifully refinished wood floors. This is our primary. Plenty of natural light flows in. The small window there, that's a great placement for that window because then it frees up that wall for the bed wall. And then you don't have a window right there next to your uh, head or the uh, headboard uh, encroaching on the window. So that was smart design there. Directly ahead is going to be our walk-in closet here for the primary we've got natural light of course that flows in through that window 
uh, very good when you are picking out your colors. And then here directly ahead is our oversized primary bath. Love the unique light fixtures that they utilized here. Once again, we've got that decorative tile and we have an oversized shower. Walk-in shower with a very low threshold. That low threshold is key if someone has mobility issues. You don't have to worry about stepping over this huge tub. So as uh, people age, they, they think about things like that because getting over that uh, tub, that's for some people, that's like running a marathon. So uh, you definitely don't want to get injured or have challenges just uh, to enjoy a nice shower. All right, look at this. This is, of course, the focal point here in this first floor. Uh, we have a beautiful fixture there, very modern look. If someone doesn't like it, you can simply swap that out. That fixture will disconnect right there. And of course you could put in one that's a little bit more to your taste, uh, but a very unique fixture. They did an amazing job here with this kitchen. We have a subway tile, white shaker. Uh, we have got a nice complement of gold and black for our finishes here. Uh, along with our stainless steel refrigerator with ice and water in the door. Our commercial style faucet there with a nice deep stainless sink. I love the fact that they went ahead and mixed it up here with the cabinetry, uh, gave us some shelving there. Uh, we also have recessed lights here in this first floor. Okay, directly ahead is our dining space. You can see they made that space appear here with another fixture uh, that complements the fixture that we just saw. So that's a great place for a dining table. Our double doors there going off to the rear and our laundry room directly ahead. We're going to pop out here to our, I'm just gonna give you a quick peek here from the deck so you can see exactly what we have there. So this is basically just a landing. Uh, our backyard is fenced, uh, so you've got a good separation here between the uh, properties. If you wanted to go ahead and uh, have a pet back there, that would be no problem. And here is our laundry. They did a great job. They, they cleaned this up, uh, gave us fresh paint. Our door, of course, going to the rear. Here to the left, we've got our 200 amp electrical panel same service you would have in a brand new home and our heat pump this is going to be brand new central heat central air uh, electricity is the fuel source directly in the corner we have space here for a stack unit um, you can actually stack front load on top of each other or you can go with a all-in-one stack unit uh, right here in this corner I'm gonna take it out back and you guys are probably waiting for what I said was something that I have never seen before. And so I'm getting ready to show that to you here in a moment. One thing that I thought about, uh, I've been thinking about it for quite some time is I wanna offer some new content. I'm gonna offer some eBooks here on the channel, complimentary eBooks uh, for different topics. So you can easily find the information that you may be looking for. Please put in the comment section below what subject matter is of interest to you, whether it be financing, grant money, no money down, uh, investing, uh, preparation for purchase, preparation of sale of a home, you name it, you just go ahead and let me know and then I'll see what I can do to go ahead and get that information ready for you. And uh, I just wanna be a resource for all of your real estate needs. Okay, here we are. Uh, this, of course, our side yard, We've got a little patio back there. And then as I was walking through the first time, I was looking around the backyard and I said, what in the world? Y'all, this is a full blown tank. Um, I, I, don't ask me questions. I have no idea, but the neighbor has a full blown tank in the backyard. So keeping highly classified nuclear secrets in your safe at home is one thing but having a safe in your backyard you know that's a whole nother level of bold um i i've just never seen it before however if you decide that you don't want to 
actually see a tank next door, a privacy fence is an excellent way to go ahead and make sure that that doesn't happen. But that was truly a first, and I'm, I'm guaranteeing you today, right now, that you will not see another real estate video guaranteed anywhere in the country where the neighbor next door has a full-blown tank. Those of you in the military know that that's not really a tank. That's more of an armored cavalry vehicle. Uh, a tank would have a, a big, big gun on the front of it. That's not a tank, but for the layperson, it's a tank. So, guarantee you, you'll never see that again. Thank you so much for taking the tour. Be sure to comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what you'd like to see as far as ebook content. I appreciate you. Thanks so much for taking the tour. Y'all be safe. Have a great day.